Do you know what a writ of summons is? For one, it is an important document that should not be ignored. We will now explain. A writ of summons is a court document filed by a claimant, also known as a plaintiff, to commence legal proceedings against a defendant. It is also usually accompanied with another document called a statement of claim. Once the writ of summons is sealed by the court, it needs to be served on the defendant to inform him of the legal proceedings commenced against him. There are rules on how a writ of summons should be served in order to be effectual, and there's strict timelines for the defendant act in order to prevent a default judgment being made against him. If the defendant is an individual, personal service, document to be hand-delivered, must be made. However, if delivery fails after multiple attempts, the court may allow service to be effected by alternative means, such as sticking a copy on the door of the defendant, or even by way of email or WhatsApp. If the defendant is a company in Singapore, serving the writ of summons is as simple as leaving the document at the registered office of the company. Different rules apply on how service is to be done on a party outside the jurisdiction of Singapore. Once the writ of summons is served, strict timelines for a defendant to act would apply. Upon service, a defendant must enter an appearance within 8 days and file a defence within 14 days thereafter. For defendants located outside of Singapore, 21 days are given to enter an appearance instead. Importantly, if these timelines are not followed, a judgment in default may be awarded in favour of the plaintiff.